So finally, here we have the CEO and co-founder of Simple Energy, Mr. Suhas Rajkumar Ji. Hi, sir. Thank you so much. It's long. <laughs> it's been long. Thank you. And uh, it's been very long since you came to an uh, event or uh, meeting people like this. It's yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, it's been more than more than some time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how you are feeling? You opened the first dealership in India, first experience center in India, apart from Bengaluru. So how you are feeling? And just know you get delivered to some of the customers. How you are feeling? I am observing you since morning. So how you are feeling? See, I am very excited because you know uh, Vijayawada has been uh, on our map since day one. Okay. And of course, you know it's the first dealership that uh, went live in. Uh, yeah. In India and Bangalore and other places are going live in the next uh, couple of 10 days, I believe. Okay. And but you know, if you look at the overall ambience and overall uh, support from Vijayawada, it's been great. So we have a lot of customers from here. Yeah. We've been pinging me on Twitter, on Instagram, etc. And there's a lot of support for Simple. Yeah, yeah. I know we delayed a lot, and you know there was some genuine reason behind it. But we are back. We are back stronger. And I think uh, that's not Vijayawada, but you know, entire Andhra Pradesh want to spread across. We have Vizag also coming up, and we have other places in Andhra that we are looking to launch. Okay. The next, uh, I think maybe a month or two max. Okay, and we're looking to cater the entire entrepreneurs with simple one and simple dot one. Okay, so I think that's 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 what I'm excited about. Uh, and apart from that, I think our customers have to give us feedback so that we can design things better and look forward to what Andhra loves. Yeah, it's been very late, it's been two years late since the deliveries of this electric scooter should be launched. Yeah. So what's your next step? What you're doing going to do next? Recently you have uh, got funding. So how you are going to use their funding and what will be your next plans or next steps? So our uh, first idea is to expand as much as possible. So we want to spread across south and uh, west zone of India, then towards north and then the east part of India. And I think next six months we should have a lot of stores uh, across India and we are looking to climb the ladder. And we should be among the top five in next six Six months. I mean, that's the goal for us. Apart from that, we are working towards Gen 2. Okay. Uh, we are working on improvement of Simple One and Dot One. Okay. And we are hopefully looking at more models coming in. I think we'll talk more about it in January. But for now, we are very, very aggressive on our uh, uh, you know, launch plans and opening stores across India. So I have a lot of travel plan coming up. Okay. So I am excited to meet just not people from Andhra but across India. Yeah. So look, looking forward to just deliver what people are waiting for past three years. Yeah. Apart from Andhra Pradesh, Telangana is also a very huge market. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, Hyderabad uh, has a very good demand for simple one electric yep. scooter. Recently, I saw a scooter, one of the customers imported electric scooter yep. from Karnataka, and he is using in Hyderabad. Yep. What about the opening uh, dealership in so Hyderabad? Hyderabad, you should see uh, mid of next month. Uh, we should be opening the store. I think next week we'll announce the dates, okay. exact dates. Okay. But it's locked in. We have the store is on way. Uh -huh. so Hyderabad next mid of next month. We should announce. Okay. So, so I I, I know you are running out of time. My last question will be: What you have done in these one years after after starting the deliveries of first simple one electric scooter what are all the feedbacks you took from the initial customers and how you are improved those in this existing uh, product so initial pilot batch we think we have around 700 customers 700 800 customers on road in bangalore today okay uh, that's a large group we have about 25 lakh kilometers of data now okay uh, we have improved our software we have improved our performance we have improved our range a lot of things that have gone in the back end okay i think now the simple one is much more refined than what it was one year back okay i think it will continuously improve uh, but more or less, we were looking at settling down any major issues that might occur. Mm. There will be updates going forward. Uh, it's obviously OT enabled. So we're looking to improve even better. So we are just collecting right data, improving the range, improving the performance, and giving the best to consumers. And I think we will remain a company which is focused on technology orientation, more or less, because that kind of satisfies the consumer. Okay. So we are like, no, we are clearly focused on that. We are improving a lot of things going forward. And you'll hear about Gen 2 very soon. Okay. So currently, the price of this simple one the top end variant is a bit on the higher side it comes into the premium category so as of now you don't have any support from the central government and the andhra is also don't have a lifetime exemption yeah. so can we expect any support from the central government in the coming future and can we expect any price reduction in this existing products yeah so so uh, i think we have subsidies uh, you know uh, yeah. a simple one and not both are uh, okay get subsidies okay. So it got eligible for yeah, EMPS. It is yeah it is EMPS. okay, so okay. The customers that we book now okay are, have got the EMPS in their billing, so okay. the EMPS is there for both the scooters. Okay. Uh, so that has reduced the price, of course. Uh, the only uh, negative part that we, we we kind of observe is you know uh, there is no pricing uh, differentiation that is coming in strongly for us uh, in the market segment. So because of the road tax coming in, yeah, yeah. So that is kind of heavy in our in our. Uh, we should look at how 
the uh, you know Andhra government is looking at reducing the road tax. Yeah. We have put up a, a plea okay. and we are asking everyone else to do the same. Okay. So I think I hope Andhra Pradesh comes out with a great EV support uh, schemes and not put road tax on EVs as it because it's a great market to be in and and, and we need EVs uh, today. And I think I I, I just uh, request the government to look into this and hopefully that will reduce even more further because I think uh, it's roughly about 12 percent. Yeah, it's 12 percent. Yeah. That that's kind of adding the cost. I think I believe that should be uh, something that government should look at to reduce. Okay. Yeah. The current major issue in the EV industry is the service. Many of the giant companies are unable to give service to their customers. They they couldn't able to cater a small problem to their customers. So what are all the precautions you took in the service basis? As of now, your your capacity and your demand. Uh, I mean your delivery capacity is low. What about the future when the numbers increases? What are all the precautions you are going to take? So our delivery was not uh, so our production capacity was not low. Ideally, we were restricting ourselves from expanding. Okay. Because we had few uh, few things to sort out internally, and I think if you look at this store also that we have opened, we have a service center up yeah. itself. So every store will come with a service center, so we don't have to worry about okay. uh, where to go, what to do, and we have maintained a ratio of you know how many parts versus scooters are sold. Okay. So every person who is coming in should not have more than three days of okay. waiting period in service if there is a major issue. Okay. Otherwise, in a day you get back to scooter. So I think that is what we are maintaining, okay. and we are following uh, you know likes of Marutis and likes of you know Hyundai etc. Who are you know put up great service examples. Yeah. Toyota is one of them. Yeah. So I think we are looking at that models of service side. Okay. Sales side, we are looking at premiumization. You know, are looking at people who are trying to buy something premium okay. uh, and have value for money. So uh, you mentioned we are premium. I would say we are value for money <laughs> because at that price point you have one more scooter going out there and uh, there are two more competitors. Yeah, yeah. They will not give you the range, they will not give you the boat, they will not give you the you know, performance, anything on that price point. Okay. So I think we are much value oriented company rather than a pricey company. Mm -hmm. So I think customers will decide, we have 800 customers in mind who are very happy about it. Okay. So we are looking forward to add more. Okay. So apart from South, many of the North dealers are waiting, eagerly waiting for the simple one dealership opportunity. So when they can get? So uh, our dealership uh, inquiries are open so people can you know look at uh, putting up things but okay. more or less we have around uh, 75 uh, dealers already in line so okay. I think we have a large plans opening up so yeah. you'll see a lot of news coming from Simple Now onwards. Yeah. I think you know uh, we are the people who are eagerly waited for okay. and I think we can make a dent in the EV market today and we are very strongly uh, believe in that and our scooters will do the job for us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very Thank all you. the best from our side Thank and you. meet you in the second generation launch in next Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.